rubbish. So what's this area? Is this the This is the helicopter deck. Okay. And then that's the helicopter head. Okay. Is there actually so, going to be a helicopter going on the uh, um, I don't, Two. I don't think on this particular one no. we, that we're going to have a helicopter. Okay. But usually um, there, yeah. there is. Sometimes yeah. you have three helicopters, two in there and one here. Where's the fuel kept for the, the helicopter? The fuel, there is a uh, jet fuel is down in the engine room. And then uh, it connects up there um, if you want to refuel okay. the See that white tank over there? Yeah. Yeah, and there's, there's the nozzle and the hose on that black uh, reel over there. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, then you can refill. It's long enough, it gets, you can reach all the helicopters wherever they are. Okay. And this deck is like ice free during the. It's heated. Okay. It's heated. Yeah, there's oh. heating, yeah, there's oh, heating right. uh, okay. on, on the heating system okay. on, the, on the ship. Okay. So. The moment it starts getting cold, like uh, you know, the temperatures are dropping like yeah. drastically, then they turn it on. Okay. The whole head, the whole hangar as well, and the whole deck here as well gets heated. Yeah. Then we can go up. So they're loading at the moment. They're loading oil. Is that oil they're loading? Yeah, those drums, yeah. Is it fuel or oil? Fuel. Fuel. Yeah. Wow. For, for the expedition team. Yeah. And that's obviously our, our lifeboat. Okay. We'll never have to find ourselves in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the step? Okay, that's a serious lifeboat. <laughs> it's got a roof on it, so you can capsize in it. Yeah, you can. If you want to. <laughs> if you are unfortunate. Yeah. You can. Um, but the seas really have to be rough. Right. Yeah. So how long have you worked on this boat? Do you... On this boat, I was the last time I was here was in 2007, and then uh, I well I resigned from the company at the time, and then I went back to other companies, and I've been sailing since then uh, around the world yeah. until this year September. I returned. They asked me to come and assist with the training. Uh, okay. of, of, of the so yeah. then I returned. Not a bad job sailing the world. <laughs> yeah, sailing the world is not a bad job, but sailing the world with more than 50 cadets oh. on board, you know, yeah. it's, not, it's not as relaxed as yeah. Yeah, any other, on any other ship, so is, is it's it, challenging. Is it like 46 cabins for the crew? 46 cabins or how many cabins for crew are there? Um, the, our crew members, for, for just the crew members, for men in the vessel, um, we have about 30, 30 yes, okay. but the crew members aren't the full complement, of course, right, yeah. uh, at the moment uh, of 30. But um, yeah, then you have the 60 cadets on board, we fit them all in about uh, 20 25 cabins. Wow, because all the cabins, most of them are four men, yeah. and the other ones are two men. Okay, so we fit them all in there, and then you get the other officers, the, the, the officers have their own deck as well. Yeah. So you're, you know you're navigating offices, you know training offices, and then then the senior officers, the chief officer, the chief engineer, the second engineer, they also have their own deck as well. Okay. So it's quite it's quite There's full. A lot of tension. And this 
this does not include the passengers now that we're gonna take up as well. So okay. it's quite a busy place. I can imagine. Okay. You can get a view from there and then we'll go, we'll go up. Fire fighting equipment. Yeah. Have you had any fires? Mm. Have you had any fires? No? So far we've been lucky. Good. <laughs> I was going to say it looks quite well used equipment. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's still brand new. Yeah. Have you been out in London since you've been here? Second? Did you go out into London since you since you've been no, here? We you've been only arrived yesterday. So you've so been busy. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll get the opportunity. Where are you gonna to go to? We're not really doing anything. I don't know. Okay. Fucking but like, <laughs> like everywhere else that I've been to in the world, you just get off the ship and get in a taxi and go. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you just find your way around. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy yourself. It's a great city. <laughs> I, I, so I've heard. Do you live in Cape Town normally then? Or? Johannesburg. Johannesburg, okay. Yeah. How deep is this mooring, do you know? How deep is the water? The water? Yeah. Um, under kill clearance, we have about four and a half meters. Uh -huh. uh, under kill clearance. Okay. So, and our draft is about uh, six meters. So, I would say the depth is about 10, right. 11 meters. Okay, so you got your um, charity slogan on the on that mm -hmm. boom there. Yeah, they're it's using a huge that crane. crane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they're using that crane to load the, 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 the drums into that hatch. Oh yeah. It's, a, it's got a twin deck as well, so it goes further below. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is fuel for the ship and fuel for uh, fuel for the expedition team. Right, okay. So this is expedition fuel. For the ship, yeah. Wow, okay. There's a lot of fuel. It is. I think they had um, lots of challenges to get the fuel for the expedition. Is it? What, what sort of challenges? Well, it's a lot of fuel, isn't it? So. Oh, it is a lot of fuel, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I think it costs a lot of money. Mm, okay. But this is your second helicopter deck here, no? Um, what happens is 
um, if we're having helicopters and we go into these remote islands, yeah. the ship cannot go any closer than than you know. It, it wouldn't be really be safe to go uh, closer. So she will sort of stop dead in in water that is like deep enough away, it's safe to to stop. Yeah. And then uh, the helicopter will then come, fly from uh, aft from the helicopter hangar, and they will use either this crane or that crane depending on the weight of, of the load or, or sorry the weight of the load that this is going to be carried and then they will open these hatches either this one or the one forward of the of, of this must house pick up the load drop it off of there and then the helicopter will come and then hover above lower a sling and they will hook it onto the load and the helicopter will fly off with the load onto the island I see okay yeah. okay and this crane, the second one to the left, is how far can this um, stretch out? Um, it's a 25 ton crane and she can stretch just pretty much as for as, as long as yeah. the, 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 the boom. Um, uh, you know, just yeah. as far as that. That, yeah. that. That's the turning radius. She doesn't stretch. It seems like a big crane. It is. A, it is. Does it, is will the this... moment you pick it up and you swing it, either one, you know, yeah. either to port or to starboard, the whole ship goes with it. So then you have stabilizer tanks yeah. uh, that you have to control. They're called okay. healing tanks. Okay. And you have to control. So when she lists to the side, you move the water from one tank to the other okay. and bring the ship upright. And wow. that's how the operation yeah. happens. So it's it's very well coordinated. Yeah. And yeah. Driver sits. Driver. <laughs> Where's his steering wheel? <laughs> All right, go, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is here, coming through, coming up the river through to here. Yeah. I bet it was uh, interesting to navigate through. Yeah, through the river, yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. Spirit. 